Hey Atom 3D users, there's a lot of changes for you in the new V28.1 release. Let's take a look. You know those 3D print projects where you want to get the shape and the curvature just right? Well now you have even more tools at your disposal in our newly overhauled fillet tool. Now with the new variable radius fillet tool, you can pick a point along an edge or a sequence of edges and choose what radius value you want to have at that exact point. But it's not just variable radii that have updated. Check out being able to blend vertices with the fillets tool. Not only can you select edges that converge and blend them, but have custom setbacks to be able to really get the shape you need. Sometimes you end up with a fillet that is small on one side and large on the other, and that just doesn't look right. But with the new constant cord sizing, you can now have well-behaved fillets all the way around. Some models that need a lot of fillets end up with a lot of features in the design tree, but now groups of fillets are available so that you can make multiple size fillets in a single feature. Hold on to your hats, folks, because that's just fillets and there's a lot more to come. We're happy to announce that the whole tool has come to Atom 3D and with never before seen enhancements. Imagine how much easier it can be to insert your holes with cosmetic threads and size them according to your needs. But that's not all. In this new version, holes can be physically threaded with the simple click of your mouse. Printers tend to overbuild things, so we added some extra functionality so that you can model your threads at its maximum, minimum, center tolerance, and nominal sizes. This can assist in fine-tuning the fit you'd like to have when 3D printing. You also can add in your own custom threads and be able to model those on the fly as well. Now let's talk about more enhancements in Atom 3D. In Atom 3D, I now have the ability to change the thickness of my highlighted edges, the speed at which my model rotates, my zoom speed, and as an added bonus, if I rotate my view while holding the spacebar, I get an extra fine rotation that can help when looking into things or selecting something hard to see. Additionally, there are many Atom 3D models that have long design trees, and now we have a magnifying glass in the Explorer that allows us to search for any term. And speaking of searching for things in the tree, we can now rename things in the tree simply by clicking on them, and this allows for easy naming or renaming. The center of mass can be an important design criteria. Did you get your calculations right? Now you don't have to guess with new center of mass visualization. This works in parts, assemblies, and can even be seen and dimensioned from in drawings. Speaking of the drawing environment, Atom 3D now allows users to customize the length of leader lines. Perhaps this length is too long for our taste, but we can simply shorten it. And along the lines of lengthening things, we've lengthened these input boxes for editing dimensions. Well, these are the major changes that are made in Alibre Atom V28.1. We hope you've enjoyed the video and we hope you look forward to using the new features.